I am actually using this on a Raspberry Pi microcomputer on our KKSB 13 inch touch screen. And so this is what it looks like on my screen, and I'm actually controlling that with my touch screen as well. I've got a keyboard here, which I'll just kind of have handy just in case I need it. But sometimes what can happen with the GNU Image Manipulation Program, keep in mind this is a free kind of Photoshop alternative, uh, but you can get a little bit confused in that, hey, these windows are kind of, you know, all over the place. See this? So if I want to exit the program, how do you think I do that? Well, typically, you know, we're used to pressing the X. So if I, let's grab this window over here, and I know you can't see my mouse cursor, so I'm just going to show you which window I am touching. I'm going to click on the X there, thinking that I'm going to close the GNU image manipulation program. Well, now it's still up, but I have no tools. I can't, I can't find my way to... Okay, how do I get things back up and, you know, so I can click around and, oh, no, what have I done? Okay, let's exit. I'm going to click on the X over here. I'm trying. Me and my sausage fingers. Uh -oh. Almost there. Oh, there. there you go. Okay, oh, now I've just got this picture. And so now what do I do? And hit this happens. <laughs> yeah, hit the X. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, so now I've gotten, I've lost my picture. Now let's hit the X, or I'll hit Alt F4 on my keyboard, I guess. I could do. There we go. Okay, so now I'm, I'm good to go. So let's, let's reopen the GIMP. So now I've, you know, come back to it the next day, and let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working on some photos here. Welcome to the GNU Image Manipulation Program 2.10, oh. and uh oh. Where's your stuff? Okay, I need to add text to this photo. Uh, all right. How do I do that, Jeff? Uh, Filters? Uh, no. Uh, image? No. So you see kind of what I'm saying, right? You can get, because of the way that the interface is, if you're not familiar with it, it can get really, really confusing. So yes. I'm going to show you a really, really fast way to redeem it. Okay. But then also a way to prevent this from happening again in the future. So I'm going to hit edit and then preferences. In preferences, there is one called window management. You see that? It's highlighted black now. Mm -hmm. And there's a button at the bottom of it that says reset saved window positions to default values. I'm going to click that and it says your window setup will be reset to default values the next time you start GIMP. So I'm going to say OK. Sounds good. OK. And then I'm going to close the GIMP again. And now let's reopen the GNU image manipulation program. I'm using a flat pack here. So, you can install this on Windows, Mac, Linux. It's absolutely free. And now, okay, so now this has actually put me in single window mode. Now, I want to show you that, though, because you may not get that automatically. So, now you see all of my tools are back. So, I've got my, you know, all of the editing tools. I've got my text editor. There you go. So, I can change my font and all that kind of stuff, right? I've got it back. Now... So that's how I can quickly recover after I've accidentally closed all those, right. those tools, right? Really, really fast way to fix it. But then, again, now we saw really briefly there what's called single window mode. So now what I want to do is I want to actually click Windows and then see at the bottom there? Yeah. Single window mode. It may or may not be the default on your system. But by doing that now, when I maximize that window, it's all part of the interface. So these buttons and everything are now integrated into the interface. So you're not going to accidentally close them. There's no X there anymore. So now if I hit the X, it actually closes GIMP. And I have to reopen it again. Let's reopen it and see what it looks like now. Now remember, I'm running this on a Raspberry Pi 3, not a B+, just a 3B, and it's running pretty good. Yeah. There we go. So let's, uh, let's open an image. And now it's actually opening it within the same window. So I'm not going to have that problem anymore where I'm losing things. And now if I click on X here, I can actually close the image. But there you go. So a real quick fix for the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Grab it at GIMP.org. And do check out single window mode if, uh, if you're fairly new to the interface. Why would you want it in separate 
windows? Mm-hmm. Any guesses? No. <laughs> She's like, that's <laughs> stupid. In case you use dual screens? Oh, for I the use, win. I use triple screens, Jeff. Oh, I okay. have so my I have a, a monitor right in front of me that is turned vertical, so it's actually like this. Yep. In front of me, then on either side I have my tools. That makes sense. Wow. And I can drag things from screen to screen, and I can do all the editing that way. So That's in that smart. way, it works very, very well, and I can actually maximize each window to each screen, and it's fantastic. But I if you're using screens one screen, yeah, for. oh, it's fantastic. That's cool. But as you're s- just learning, or you're using just one screen, switch it to single window mode. It's going to save you a lot of grief. Yeah.